hey y'all so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious chicken pot pie so when i made this is actually on a rainy day i think this is perfect for like rainy weather for some reason but anyway i'm not going to do too much talking let's go ahead and get into the video okay so of course the very first thing that you're going to need is uh chicken some cooked chicken so i'm going to go ahead and cook about a pound of chicken breast that I had. You could use some already bought chicken, like some already cooked chicken, rot rot rotisserie, sorry. <laughs> rotisserie chicken that you bought from the store, shred it up, whatever type of chicken that you like, go ahead and um, either cook it or shred it. And I'm cooking this chicken here. All right, y'all, so y'all can see this chicken is looking so good and juicy. It is done. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from this pan. And I'm just gonna sit this to the side for about 15 minutes, just enough time for it to be cool to the touch for me to go ahead and dice that up. All right, y'all, as you can see, I went on and diced the chicken. These are the two pie toppings that I'm gonna use. Half an onion that I diced. I'm also using about two potatoes that I boiled. Uh, frozen peas and carrots. A stick of butter and half a cup of flour. And then I'm using four cups of chicken broth. All right, y'all, here we go. So first we wanna go ahead and add that stick of butter into our pot. I'm using one pot for everything, so we will be throwing everything into this pot. This is also the same pot that I use to boil my potato. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our diced onions. Again, that was half of an onion. And we're gonna cook this down a little bit, uh, just until our butter is melted. And it's gonna start bubbling a little bit. So that's what we're doing here. So this is the perfect time to go ahead and add in that flour. This is our half a cup of flour. Just gonna stir that a little bit, let that flour cook down. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And we're gonna let this cook down a little bit more. And now it is time to add the chicken broth. So I only added two cups of broth at a time. So right here, I only added two cups. I'm gonna cook it down a little bit, let the flour kind of dissolve with the broth, get all the lumps out, and then we're gonna go ahead and add the other two cups right here. And this is what it's gonna look like. Just gonna let that stir around a little bit, thicken up a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and add in our filling. So right here I'm adding the diced potatoes that I use. This is optional, but I feel potatoes is another filler for the pie pie. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken. All right, so we're gonna mix that together. Give it a good mix. All right, and now it is time to add our frozen vegetables. I did use the full bag. I used about, I think it's a 12 ounce bag. Yeah, a 12 ounce bag of peas and carrots. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that in. Right here, our mix is pretty much done. Our filling is pretty much done. Right now would be the perfect time to go ahead and give it a taste to see if it's seasoned to the way you like it. I did add some Lori seasoning salt and accent at this point. And we can go ahead and add it in our pans. So I am using these two pans here. If you have a pan that is deep enough for this, you could do one pan. But now I know I need to do a little shopping and get a deeper um, Popeye pan because I had to use two, but it worked out fine. But if you do have a bigger pan, all of this can fit in a deeper dish. 
right, so here go our filling in the pan. And now it's time to go ahead and add that pie crust on the top. So I am, like I said, using already brought or already made pie crust, store-bought pie crust. If you want, you can go ahead and make your own, make it all the way homemade, but I am using this. It does save a lot of time to do this. And then just gonna kind of pinch the sides of it a little bit. However you wanna do that, just pinch the sides to fit it perfectly into your pan. So now you wanna go ahead and cut in some slits in the top of your pie crust. This is um, just to vent while it's cooking. So I did add an egg wash to the top. That's just like one egg and a little bit of water. And that helps it to look like this. It gives it a golden brown look. This is how it looks when it comes out the oven. I did let my pie pie bake for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. And that's it, you guys. This is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.